Hey everybody, I'm Chad Dolbeer with Stokes Volkswagen and this is the Stokes VW Auto Show. On this episode, we're talking about the hometown heroes. We've interviewed a few hometown heroes right here in the Carolinas, so we want to go over that with you today. And hometown heroes are people that put their life on the line daily for us. So let's go ahead and meet Mike with the Somerville Police Department. He's a motorcycle cop and see what he has to say and let's honor him as a hometown hero. Here we go. Hey, I'm Travis Westbury with Stokes Volkswagen. I'm here today with Officer Michael Gregory, and you know we recognize what a great job you do for the community, and we want everybody else to recognize what a great job you guys are doing for the community. Um, you know, it means a lot to me because I know if, if something goes bad in my life, first person I'm calling is the police. Okay, and that needs to be recognized. And I think that you know, you know, we want more PR out there. We want more people talking about what a great job you guys do. Now, I know Mike, you and I, uh, we, we've known each other for a while now, and this motorcycle, uh, tell me a little about this bike and what's going on. Well, first of all, thank you all very much for um, taking the time to honor us. That, that, that means a lot to us and it means a lot to the family of law enforcement, firefighters, and also school teachers. So thank you very much for doing that. Um, again, my, I'm Mike Gregory. I'm with the Somerville Police Department. I'm a motor unit with the Somerville Police Department stationed in the traffic unit. And basically my job is uh, to go out and investigate collisions and also answer calls um, if our patrol teams get backed up. Now, Mike, you guys, uh, you do some competitive stuff with this bike too, correct? Absolutely. Um, each year during the Low Country, we have the um, South Carolina Palmetto Police um, Motorcycle Training Seminar. Um, this past year, we had it in the month of June. Uh, March, I believe, of next year, we'll be doing that in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We would love for uh, everyone to come out and support their local police department um, in that. A big thanks to Corporal Mike Gregory with the Somerville Police Department for giving us a few minutes of his time and honoring him as a hometown hero. Hey everybody, Chad Dobier with Stokes Volkswagen TV. Today I'm here with Dr. Raymond Vicente with the Northside Family Dentistry. How are you doing, sir? Great, great. Good. Now tell us, I heard you were at the PAC this past weekend for the great performance with the North Charleston Pops. Tell us a little bit about it and what spiked your interest to donate an instrument. Uh, we had a great time there. We were actually invited by Travis Westbury of Stokes Volkswagen off of Ashley Fawcett Road. A um, good friend of mine and the general manager there and he had told us that they had this function where they wanted to donate instruments to underserved kids and mm -hmm. we wanted to do our part. There you go, that's great. Now what type of instrument are you donating today? Uh, we're gonna donate a Yamaha keyboard that my daughter has now outgrown and she wanted me to let you guys know she wanted to do her part in the community as well. That's great. Also, Dr. Vicente's purchased some vehicles from the Stokes family over the years. Tell us about your experience. Uh, we've had great experiences there um, at the Stokes Volkswagen dealership, not just with the salespeople, but the service department's fantastic. Great. Thank you so much. We do appreciate you taking the time to do this video with us today. Folks, also check out Dr. Facenti's website and Facebook page. How can they find you online? They can find us online by um, going to nsfdentistry.com and our Facebook page, you can find the link on our page. There you go, it's just that simple. So stay smiling, Charleston. Now let's meet a special state trooper here in the Carolinas. Her name's Hannah Wimberly. She's gonna tell us why she decided to join up with the Highway Patrol Unit. So let's see what she has to say. Hey, this is Travis Westbury with Stokes Volkswagen, and we're here, we're putting on a hometown hero event this weekend, and we're here honoring Hannah Wembley with the Highway Patrol. Just uh, come out, want to tell you thank you for everything you do, and you know, want to show our appreciation, and, and hear a little bit about you, and what got you with Highway Patrol, and you know, what it means to you. I've been with uh, Highway Patrol since 2010. I've always been inspired by law enforcement. With that, I feel like the way I could give back to law enforcement is actually joining the um, as a career. We're out here just trying to prevent traffic fatalities. When you lose somebody close to you, um, it hits close to home. So I'm out here trying to prevent traffic fatalities from happening. 
Well, I know that I appreciate what you do, and we know the, the dangers that you must occur on the road and the things that come up. I mean, it, it's, it's just, I can't even imagine. So again, thank you, thank you for what you do, and thank all of you for what you do, and we appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great time this weekend. See you soon. Hope you're enjoying the Stokes Volkswagen TV show. And that was one great interview by Travis Westbury and Hannah Wimberly with the State Troopers. Now, next, we're going to show you some clips from some local hometown people here in Charleston that helped out in Columbia, South Carolina after the flood. You'll notice in this video, we had a 32-foot trailer packed full of water, food, and clothing, over 15,000 pounds of relief to go up to Columbia, South Carolina and help these folks that were affected by the flood. So stay tuned with us. Let's watch this next scene and see how the Charleston folks help out the folks up in Columbia. to go meet Miss Julie here. We're in Columbia and uh, she ran a daycare here at her house and it got flooded out pretty bad. Let's go meet her. You ran a daycare from out of your house, right? I do. I run a daycare. And um, obviously a lot of this stuff over here is from in your home. Everything in that trash pile is from my sheds or from my uh, downstairs. Wow. Besides what people have picked out of it. But yeah, um, yeah now, that was can all. Can show us inside? Is that sure. Okay? Come on. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we had, uh, I would say water, what, about five feet tall? Because it uh -huh. went above the trampoline. Yeah, above the trampoline. Above the trampoline. It went over the fence and ran down the uh, flood control ditch down there. This lady over here had two sheds in her backyard. It totally uh -huh. washed those down to the end of the neighborhood. Wow. And a big uh, section of her yard just kind of collapsed into the ditch area. I see it, yeah. But I basically lost everything in the two sheds. This is all, you know, my daycare toys we had to toss out. Anything that got wet. And this is where I ran my daycare. Yeah, and it got this whole room. Well, and we've been serving the neighborhood, giving them food and, and diapers and wipes yeah. and water and, and ice and so. Wow. This is where we're kind of staged since it's empty anyway. Now, was the water in here? We had 14 inches of water in so here. It was up pretty high up on the wall. Yes, yeah. yes it was. No walking through here too well. Yeah. No. We're going to get it all back. I've had so many offers of help to mm -hmm. get my daycare running again. Cool. That, That's great. You know, yes. People getting involved with the community. And, yes, yeah. God is good. He's right. taking care of us. Awesome. Thank you, Ms. Julie. Yes, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Here, all right. We're just worried about feeding everyone. Yeah. Because th this road here was halfway collapsed. Wow. And there's only one road in and out of this yeah. neighborhood. There's about 350 homes, homes. back here. Wow. And that was the only way in or out That's of the neighborhood. That's the only way, and it was collapsed. They've put a temporary fix on it right now. Yeah. And they said they'll be back in a couple months to make it permanent. There you go. So they're, they're trying to get this shed out of here right now. Because yes. the water pretty much weakened that up it, and it's it yeah, done. It's done. Yeah. 
New Springs Church out here working. See, this is what you do. You get out in the community and you help one another out. Wow, what a great thing those people did up in Columbia, South Carolina just a few weeks ago, helping out those families after that flood. So thank you to everyone that helped out with that cause and going up to Columbia that day to help out a family in need. Now we've seen a lot of video, pictures, and just news media about the storm and the flood that happened here in the South Carolina areas. But one thing I wanted to do is just a few weeks ago, I went up to North Charleston to Park Circle to the United Methodist Church. The Pops Kids were up there. If you're not familiar with the Pops Kids, the North Charleston Pops Orchestra has a kids choir that will be performing on November 7th at the Performing Arts Center. So I headed up there where they were rehearsing at and got a couple interviews from some kids to see what their thoughts thoughts were about the flood. So let's see what they have to say. Hello everyone, I'm Chad Dolbeer with Stokes Volkswagen TV. Now I'm in beautiful North Charleston, South Carolina, outside of Park Circle at the United Methodist Church. Just last weekend, the storm happened. It was devastating. The floods, we all already know all about it. It's really just hit ground hard here in South Carolina. And I think the entire country has been radiated by it. But what I want to talk to you about today is the Pops Kids. I want to see what these kids have to say. So it's non-scripted. We don't know what these kids are going to say, but we're going to find out right now. What did you think about the storm this past weekend? I thought it was bad because our neighbor's house flooded. How did the storm affect you this past weekend? Well, sewage. Sewage spilled all over the street. How did the storm affect you this past weekend? It didn't affect me, but when I, I my grandpa and grandma were um, at my house and I was at Mortal Beach, but in Mortal Beach, um, there, there was a big lake and um, a car passed by and it couldn't um, get out. Now, what is your name, young man? I'm Fisher. Um, uh, I slept and it woke me up and then daddy woke me up so early and then I waked up and go to school. A lot of people came to shelters I heard and I saw a lot of people posting pictures of people having, um, like, having water up to their waist walking down the street. It stopped me from having very long bike rides. The storm this past weekend, what's your opinion on it? That I don't think that hurricane should ever even be. You don't think they exist. should? Good answer. I don't think they should either. I, th I was y'all's age when Hurricane Hugo hit in Charleston. That was not fun at all. Did you have any friends? Did your neighborhood have a flood? No. No? Well, that's a good thing, right? Yes.
Now let's head over to the North Charleston Police Department and meet a few police officers. Did you know that Stokes Volkswagen sponsors the Cops and Kids program each year? If you don't know about that program, you're about to learn about it right now. So stay with us. Hey, this is Travis Westbury with Stokes Volkswagen. Today, I'm with North Charleston's Finest, Officer Stewart and um, Sergeant Reinhardt, and we're proud to be part of the Kids and Cops program, and I'd like, if you would, you guys to tell us a little bit about it and uh, what's going on with it. Absolutely. Well, I'm Officer Stewart with North Charleston Police Department, and what the Kids and Cop program is, it's a program ran through the city of North Charleston Police Department, and what it does is it builds the community relationship between police officer parent and child and what we'll do is we'll, as police officers we'll take one child um, that's given assigned to us and what we'll do is take that child shopping now before we take that child shopping we'll eat breakfast with that child and um, go shopping and then eat lunch with that child um, and then we'll come back and we'll look at all the all the gifts and everything but what we're doing all at the same time is building that community relationship between that child parent and police officer and that's awesome because I think in today's world, I mean, with children coming up, recognizing, you know, it, it's just there's so much bad publicity out there. Absolutely. And, and what yes. you're doing is heartfelt. It's a great thing. And I know I'm glad to be a sponsor of it. And I know, you know, Stokes right. has for the last couple of years, but it means a lot to us. And, you know, it's just, it's fun to be part of. It, it is. It's, it's it a is. heartfelt um, thing. Each year that we do it, we get to see these the children just grow. And the smiles on their faces. Um, so we really appreciate our sponsors who come out and um, donate money to help us out and donate their time too. Um, and what we would like everybody to know is it's an awesome cause. If you would like to donate and give us a helping hand, we'd appreciate it. And just contact us here at the City of North Charleston. So if they go online and, and when we promote this obviously, what's the best way to contact North Charleston about if you want to become a sponsor and you want to reach out, how would they go about doing it? Um, I believe the best way to do that is get in contact with our lieutenant, okay. which is um, Lieutenant Love. Lieutenant Love. So if you hear, if you contact Lieutenant Love, reach out to them because they are. They're looking for sponsors, and you know we need the community to take part in this, and it's something that, again we recognize as a great opportunity for North Charleston the community Absolutely. and what you guys yes. are part of. But thank you um, again. You guys are heroes to us, and we appreciate everything you do. You're welcome. All right. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thanks for having thank us. Thank you. All appreciate right. it. This is Travis Westbury with Stokes Volkswagen. Today, I'm with Officer Tiffany Kreider, and uh, she's uh, she's here to tell us a few things about some of the great things that you guys do in the community and what's going on. And you know, I know you and I have talked a little bit about the hometown, the local event we're putting on, just the heroes, and you guys are part of the heroes. Right. So, just uh, tell everybody a little bit what's going on and, and what what this means to you. What got you into this line of work, and and how it's affected you, and what you see on a day to day basis. All right. Um, first of all, thank you for supporting us with the Kids and Cops program and all you're doing. Um, I guess one of my biggest things last year was delivering Thanksgiving meals to families. Just pulling up to the door with a box of Thanksgiving meals and seeing how excited these kids were. They could have no furniture in their house, but they knew that they were going to have a huge turkey Thanksgiving meal. Um, another program that's coming up on October the 10th that the police department is um, pairing with is giving bikes away out there at Riverfront Park. Um, I work in the school so I get to see kids every day and see what a difference. They may not look too kindly on us out in the street but because you've earned that respect and because of what they've seen with us you know they want to be around us. Well, I, I, and I think that's an important thing because a lot of people, you know, obviously they, they, they think to call you when something's going wrong, or but no one realizes really the extra steps that are taken, you know, with first responders, the police, the, what you do, you know what I'm saying, and being in the schools and being active like that, and it's something that they need to know. And, you know, again, it's appreciated from us, and one thing that, you know, I know that you are always looking for sponsors for these events, so I think the best way to 
would be to contact Lieutenant Love here yes. at North Charleston. And if you are interested in becoming a, a supporter or, or supporting the community, reach out, help them out because it is. It's for a great cause and it is tomorrow's world. Right, so, right. Again, thank you for your thank time. Thank you very today. much for your donation. Always. Good stuff with the North Charleston Police Department helping out those kids every year. And thanks to Stokes Volkswagen for sponsoring that program. It's a really good thing around the Christmas holiday season to see those police officers take a child out to the store and get them some toys. Sometimes we forget about all the good things that the police departments do when we get tied up watching local media and negative reports about the police. Not everyone's perfect, as we know, but there's a lot of good things that the police departments do all over the Carolinas. So let's go ahead and take a moment to thank those hometown heroes for putting their life on the line daily for us. Because when you're in trouble and you need help, who do you call? the police department. So let's give them a thumbs up when you're riding down the road and honk your horn for the police and hopefully they won't pull you over. Now let's meet a special fire captain from the Somerville Fire and Rescue Team. This guy knows what he's doing and there's a lot of things the fire department does other than just putting out fires. So let's see what he has to say. Hey everybody, Chad here again with Stokes VW TV. Today we're here in Somerville at the fire department with Brent Melcher. How you doing, Brent? Doing great, how are you? Doing good. So we got our event coming up this Saturday at Stokes Volkswagen, uh, Hometown Heroes. Can you shed some light on what does the fire department deal with on a daily basis? Earlier you were talking about how many calls you get on a daily basis, which kind of blew my mind. That's a lot. Can you shed light on that? Uh, we go anywhere from animal rescues to motor vehicle accidents, regular EMS calls, fire calls. Um, pretty much anytime someone needs us, we're, we're there. We don't ever um, shy away from trying to help someone, no matter what it is. So, so it, it's a lot of stuff falls under y'all's roof yes, at the fire does. department. It does. It, it, it'll either call the emergency number or they'll call our direct number as well. So anytime we can try to help someone. There you go. You know, that's that's a lot said. I mean, the fire department gets involved with a lot of stuff. I mean, you see them out there on the roads every day. Well, first of all, we want to thank you for your services. Thank that's you the main much. thing. And, um, Come out and have some food with us. Yes, sir. Yes, Absolutely. Thank awesome. you very much. Thank you for spending some time with us. No problem. Now, I bet you, you've been watching this show and you didn't realize how much a car dealership really does with the community other than just selling cars. Stokes Volkswagen and Stokes Automotive Group does a lot. But yes, we do love selling cars. So if you're interested in a vehicle, please visit us online. Over 900 to 1,000 pre-owned vehicles online at any given time. Also, if you saw a video on the show today that you want to share with a friend online, just go to Facebook and type in Stokes Volkswagen. Find our Facebook page, hit the like button, and scroll down and you'll see all of our monthly content that we create. It's a lot of stuff, but a lot of good content that you can share out there with your friends and show the community that Stokes Volkswagen does a great job with helping people out. Now let's meet a couple local business owners right here in the Carolinas that helped out with donating instruments. What a great thing these business owners did. So if you want to donate an instrument and help out like they did, please give us a call at Stokes Volkswagen. The phone number is 843-767-2525. Or check us out online at stokesvw.com and stop by the store on Ashley Phosphate Road and bring that instrument on by. It will go to a child that wants to learn to play music and change their life forever. So do it and help out out just like these other folks have done it's a great cause so get involved with the community folks and let's do it together wait 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 a minute dr drew mcfail what are you doing well, I'm trying to play this violin here. Man, you really, have you ever considered lessons? I know mean, you're a talented chiropractor and I understand, but lessons on this right here might would do you some good. I, I imagine they would. I'm having a lot of trouble here. Well, it just so happens I got a friend of mine here today, Tacey Edwards with the North Charleston Pops. Tacey, what do you think about Hi, this? Hello, Tacey. How are you? I have the perfect solution for this violin. The North Charleston Pops is now taking donations of instruments 
so we can provide lessons for children in the Title I schools. But in order to do that, we need instruments. So, I know you would love to learn how to play this, but you yeah. could also make the difference in the life of the child if you donated it. Yeah, I, I'm pretty bad, so I think it'd be a lot better if I just gave this to you. So you guys can use this and get much better use of it. Um, I don't think I have the time or energy to, <laughs> or talent to be, to be able to play that thing. Well, thank you. There are many, many talented children in the North Charleston area who would not have the opportunity to learn how to play if they didn't have these instruments. So we really appreciate your donation. Oh, well, you're welcome. And, and we really need more people in the community to come out and donate more. Um, here at my clinic at 1709 Old Trolley Road, if you have, so have some old instruments that your children are no longer playing, it's taking up space in one of your closets, you need that place for other storage, so just go ahead and bring it to my clinic here, or you can bring it to North Charleston on Ashley Phosphate Road. Hey, come it, see us at Stokes Volkswagen, Ashley Phosphate Road, we're also a drop-off point, and you know the biggest thing is, these kids need instruments, so we need instruments, so if they're sitting in a closet, they're collecting dust, they're not being used, bring it to us. And you know, one thing too, a quick mention on North Charleston Pops, you guys are performing again on November the 7th, I believe, at the Performing Arts Theater, correct? We are, and we're debuting our Pops Kids. We are starting the choral program this year, next year will be the instrumental program. So come out and hear the Pops Kids Chorus perform with the North Charleston Pops. Hey, it's going to be an awesome show. Drew, thank you for your time. I'm sorry the lessons didn't work out, but you know what? You do okay. It's a good cause. Thank you. All right. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you soon. Come see us. Hi, I'm Tacey Edwards from the North Charleston Pops, and we're here today at Pazzabella with one of the owners who is going to donate an instrument to our instrument donation program to give instruments to children in Title I schools. So here we are with Crystal, one of the owners. And what do you have for us today, Crystal? Um, an alto sax. Fantastic, wow. This is our first saxophone that's been donated. This instrument is going to take on more life. It has had life with one of your children, and now it's going to create more history in the lives of many children to come down the road. As children in Title I schools receive the instruments that we're accumulating and learn how to play them. And so, thank you so much, Crystal, for this donation to You're our welcome. program. Thank you. Hey, how you doing? My name is Mike Brown, and I'm here at Stokes Volkswagen. They're partnered with the North Charleston Pops Orchestra, and they have a great program that has been designed for children that have a desire to express themselves through music. So if you can, please bring any instrument you have donated. You'll never know the impact they may have on a child that may not have access. Like I said previously, we are the sum total of what we're exposed to. So if you have something, share it, and it'll make a big difference. The North Charleston Pops is an amazing group of people and the music that they produce enhances the lives of everyone they touch. But a child getting an instrument, getting a chance to participate in creating music can change their life forever. All right, folks, the show is about to end, and we want to thank you for watching with us. Make sure you tune in each week for the Stokes Volkswagen Auto Show. Don't forget, if you're looking for a new or pre-owned car, make sure you check out www.stokesvw.com. I'm Chad Dolbeer, and I'm signing out, and you stay classy, Charleston.